Lately I've been feeling like somebody else Heard you moving on with someone new My friends keep telling me that it was for the best But I don't know if I will make it through Cause every morning I wish you were here with me Watching the sun welcome and welcome back to my channel so as you guys well as some of you guys know I moved to a whole different place in a whole different house and I wanted to take you guys along my journey of making this house feel like a home and also just taking you along the way as I decorate and things like that and just sharing my style my vision my, my, my process my progress at first I was like oh I'll just share it when it's all done but is it really ever done you know so I was just like if I kept if I kept pushing it back and keep saying that oh I'll just do when it's done do when it's done share when it's done it's just never gonna get done so why not just bring you along the process with me and if there are any updates I can share and feel more updates so I just feel like that makes much more sense but it's it's like the process is never ending to be honest so it just makes more sense to take you along and share my process and updates and things like that so today we are focusing on the dining area oh finally so okay, so we have our table and also oh, also I'm going to be sharing all items that I can find the link to I'm gonna share them in my bio and tell you where I got certain things from. So we have the dining table and chairs that's done and out of the way. After that was done, something was missing. So I got these two shelves behind me from IKEA. I'm gonna leave that in the link down below. I got the two shelves from IKEA and they were just perfect because we have a door right in the middle um, of the dining area. So the the shelves fit perfectly. That was my vision and some of you might be wondering that how do I even go about buying decorations from the store? How do I go about it? First things first, download Pinterest. Pinterest is going to help you. Pinterest is going to save your life. I don't know it all. I use my resources. So download Pinterest and what is your style? Personally, I don't like labeling my style because I dabble into a bit of everything and I work with what I have. So I usually work see what I have and go from there so I dabble in a bit of everything so you might see some like for example the dining table and the chairs give you like the rustic farmhouse kind of feel and then that back there the shelves give you like contemporary kind of feel so I don't like labeling it do what makes you happy you know do what works for you and so first step is download the Pinterest and just go into Pinterest and search um, dining table dining area designs and then Pinterest will ask you what is your style Pinterest has a category of like rustic contemporary Scandinavia blah 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 just pick look at each one and see what you know what speaks to you and like look at what you have in your space already and say hmm is this gonna go it's not about matching it's about is this gonna go together is this gonna flow together in this space how does it make you feel so that's how I go about my decorating or design process. So I went to my local Ross, Target, Marshalls, at home and home goods store and I got all of these decorating, decorating pieces or chat kits. I got all of them from the different stores and you just never know what you're going to find at each store. And it's just like be open minded and also be careful know exactly what you want so you don't end up buying a whole bunch of stuff so i knew that on these shelves i want to keep the color monochromatic i want it white black or a touch of like brown from a basket or something you know like the nature color nature feel i strictly wanted to keep you monochromatic black or white so when i went to the store i'm looking for black or white or mixed um 
decorations or like um, statues or something that just speak to me in that color. Let's jump into like arranging this decor on the shelves. This is the first shelf we're gonna start with. Um, we're gonna start from the top and work our way down to the bottom. So first things first, for the very top, I wanted to keep it again monochromatic, very simple, very clean. So the first thing I did was I went on Etsy. Oh Lord, I am praying that you can see this frame. <clears throat> if you can't see it, I'm going to put a picture on the, on the screen so you can see it properly. So I went on Etsy and I just um, typed in line drawing, black and white line drawing. The drawing came up. Um, it was $5 to download it. I downloaded it for $5. And then the download, I sent it over to my local um, Office Depot, Office Max, or even FedEx, but Office Depot was closer to me. So I sent it over to Office Depot and I told them I wanted to print this um, 18 by 24 inches. So 18 by 24 inches cost me about $7 to print. And then I went to my local Michaels and I got this frame for Michaels and this is exactly what I did. It came, I wanted to keep it monochromatic, clean, black and white. So this line art was like the perfect choice for it. Ah, oh, I hope you guys can see it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> Next, I got this vase from um, I got this vase from the thrift store from Goodwill, and it cost me about two dollars. And I got a bottle, a can of spray paint, and I spray painted it black. So that's two dollars right there. And again, Home um, Goodwill has a lot of clear vases. I'm not talking about vases that have like antique style. Don't do that to antique styles. Get clear glass vases that you can spray paint and design by yourself. So this is one I turned black. And I just put it next to it. And then I took a spontaneous trip to Ross. I got this from Ross. And, you know, it has a little gold accent top. And I didn't mind it, you know, because it wasn't too much. It was a perfect amount. So... And I also love the black and white tribal design on it. So I'm just going to put that right next to it. And just move it around until it feels right. I hope you guys can see that. So that is done. And then we're going to work our way down. For this shelf over here, I got this from my home, um, local at-home store. Also, I wanted to play with texture. Texture is such an important part in de decorating, styling, designing. I wanted to play with texture and different heights. So I got this too from my local at-home store. Again, white or black, I love the white. And I just wanted to put them right next to each other. So there we have it, simple, clean. So because this is a dining area, you can't forget your like your wine glasses and things like that. So I got this tray. It's just a simple tray from yeah, from my, my local at-home store. Again, you can find stuff like this at Home Goods, any of this um, decor, home decor store. So I got this from at-home store. So we're just gonna place it here. And then I got the set of wine glasses. I got this from Home Goods. Home Goods has them for ridiculously cheap, um, affordable prices. So I got, um, I think I got six of them. I bought six of them and we're just gonna place them in here. Marshalls. I just love this little glass. I'm gonna call it a glass pitcher and I just thought this was super cute. This would go really nicely with the 
wine glasses, you know. But yeah, I just thought this was nice. It was only two dollars, and like this is a, this is an example of what I'm talking about. If you can find some something like this from Goodwill, wash it or just spray paint it to how you like it. So I'm just gonna put that right next to the wine glasses, and then that shelf is done. So I got this, I also got this vase from at home store. I just love this because it's playing with the white and the black combo. So you wanna look out for that too, if you are going for this strictly white and black contemporary um, monochromatic look. So I thought this was perfect. Also, you do not wanna forget your greenery, your plants. Plants, plants, plants. They just make the place look so much better. Also, I leave the tags on my items while placing it where they belong just to see if I like it or not. And if I don't, I can return it without damaging the tags. So you don't want to forget your plants. Your plants, your plants, your plants. They don't have to be real. You can get them fixed so you don't have to worry about killing them. So that's a plant I'm just going to put right next to this. I got this white pitcher from um, Marshalls. I thought this would go perfect. It was $9.99. Again, think in terms of dining area. These are where people eat. So you could possibly use this item. So they're not only for aesthetics, they could also be functional too. So I'm just gonna place that here. And then I spontaneously bought this black ring decor stuff for five dollars so I just placed that right here next to it and then moving down below <clears throat> we want to grab another plant with a white base so this this is like a succulent looking plant also from home goods store the plants are kind of the uh, fake plants are kind of expensive you know but hey, you don't have to worry about killing them. So we're going to take this plant and place it right here. And then I had I got this from Home Goods also and I just thought this was the cutest freaking thing in the world. Again, this is something you could definitely use pour your wine in there and serve people. It's just like the aesthetics. Uh, it's just beautiful. Look at this. And the lid also. So I thought this was perfect for the shelf also. And I just place it right here. Again, we're keeping it clean and simple. For the bottom part, I thought it would be perfect for some baskets. I got this basket from a home store and they were kind of expensive. They were, they were $30 per basket and I was gonna get four of them. I'm just like, that's a lot. So I just got one each for each shelf. So this is the first one. Also, um, this caught my attention because it has the brown, which gives, you know, the nature feel, you know, the brown I was talking about, and then also the black. So I thought this was perfect. So we're gonna put that on the bottom. Not only is this, aesthetically pleasing well it's also functional for example if I wanted to store more dishes or I have I'm hosting some guests and I need the place to store some extra dishes or even paper plates I can just store all of them right here and no one can see them without creating a mess and then from this shelf down here I decided to just leave them empty I wanted to stack some books here, but I don't have enough books to stack and I just didn't want to put anything just for the sake of putting something in there and also this is the bottom part of the shelf the table and stuff is blocking it if you have the funds you can get an extra basket to put next to it this is what it would look like with an extra basket really good with an extra basket who knows I might go back to the store and get some more but for now 
I'm only going to put one for each shelf, but again, I if it looks good to you, get two for each shelf. But for me right now, I'm just doing one, and then we'll work on this in the future. But right now, it's not bothering me because the table blocks it off. So right now, we are done with this part of the shelf, and you see how easy that was? That was really, really easy. And fun too you know just play around with it we're moving on to the second shelf so what we want to do here is mirror what's happening on the first shelf we're going to start off with the same thing um i got the pictures the print from etsy this is what it looks like I got the print from Etsy. I sent it over to my um, office depot, printed it out in the size 18 by 24. Cost me about $7 to print it out. The frames, it, uh, the frame is from Michaels and it costs about $20. $20. $20. Vases, they were clear. They were clear vases, but I decided to spray paint them matte white. Each one cost me about a dollar, and boom, that's two dollars. I just saved so much money. <laughs> and this is the paint I use it's the Rust Oleum Ultra Matte Paint Plus Primer. I'm gonna get close so you guys can see what it looks like. Only got two of them because I wanted to put them side by side. Woo. Hi, I got this from the at home store. And I just love the shape, love the texture, and I love that hint of brown, like the nature brown I was talking about. Love that. So I grabbed that. It was kind of expensive, but I felt like it was worth splurging on it. It was about $30. Hey, I'm going to place this here. So for the next shelf, we also have a tray, just like the other one. And this time we're going to put in the small glasses, small serving glasses. I got this from Home Goods. No, I got this from Marshalls actually. Super inexpensive. I got four for five dollars, so I decided to pick up eight of them for ten dollars. So we're gonna place them. to find another one of this glass pitcher and I thought it would be perfect over here I got this from Marshall's for two dollars and I'm just taking the tag off and then that is done so we have this white um, I don't want I don't know what to call it but it looks like um, something from science or molecule. I'm not a science person, but I thought this was very cool. I got it from the at home store and you know, it's just a cute little holder. So I just place it here and instead of putting in a, a whole bunch of rubbish in it, we're going to keep it clean and just place a candle in there. We're not going to light the candle because we have shelves over here. But it's just, it's, it's nice. If I had a candle warmer, I would do that, but I don't. But I have this maple picking because we are in the season of fall. So I'm going to place the candle right there. And I saw this at Marshall's and thought it was perfect. What do you guys think? Again, 
Think in terms of aesthetics and functionality. This is a dining area. These are things you see in the kitchen. You know, put two and two together when you um, host people over. And, you know, this might be perfect to hold some muffins or some little snacks or pastries and things like that. So, and the color was on point, you know. So this was meant to be. So I just placed this right here. If you notice, we haven't added any greenery, so that's coming next. So we have this plant, fake, from Home Goods with the white chalky matte base. We're gonna place that down here. And then I'm gonna be honest, I ran out of stuff to buy. But I just found this cute little container and I thought it would be perfect to like put a whole bunch of lip tint, um, of tea bags in here or something. I don't know. But it was perfect with the aesthetic and it has this chalk label. And you know, it doesn't have to be anything like. As you can see, fall is in season, and I wanted to put some fall decorations on it. I got this vase from um, Joanne Fabrics, and this flower arrangement I picked them out myself. They're fake, but I picked out the flower arrangement myself from Joanne Fabrics. I wanted it to go with the fall theme, which is the mustard brown, deep purple plum color, and things like that. For the table runner, this is a, uh, um, what, what cloth is this? I forgot what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. I forgot what this cloth is called. Because my table is 92 inches long and custom made, I couldn't find a runner to, uh, I couldn't find a good length runner to fit the table and give me some extra overhang, so I made one myself from Joanne Fabrics. I got the fabric from Joanne Fabrics and I just cut it down and yeah, I made it. And then we have the little pumpkins, which again, for fall decoration, the candle, we have the pumpkin spice latte. Is that what it's called? Yeah, a pumpkin spice latte candle. You know, just keeping it simple, but showing off the fall season. So I'm going to show you the overall of the dining area for now. I'm done with the dining room, but I know there are going to be a few little updates, and I'll talk about that next. Rug on the floor is from Rug USA. I'll leave the link down below. Um, it's like 10 by 12 rug. It's a pretty big rug, area rug, but I absolutely love it. And yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave the link down below. But this is what the, the chairs, the dining chairs look like. They are from Wayfair. I'll also link it down below. My table on the other hand is custom made by a local woodworker. So yeah. And for the final reveal, drum roll please. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little series, Decorate With Me, and I hope to keep doing more of it in the future. Also, this, like I said, decorating, designing, whatever your house is never ending, to be honest. So when there are major updates, I will film it. We have this blank wall, and then we have this nook over here that could possibly fit like a plant, a giant plant, who knows. But I will be bringing you along with any DIYs and other things like that. So 
Um, like I said, I wanted to make the make this like different series of different areas in the house. So my next video would be like the entryway, how to design your entryway to make it functional and aesthetically pleasing for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!